Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Passenger Skin. This is Mirror's Edge Catalyst Closed Beta. In the city of glass, the conglomerate rules supreme. All regular citizens have been made willing slaves, lured into an endless race for status and wealth. But some choose to live off the grid. Runners work as couriers and cab burglars. The rooftops belong to them. As long as they don't openly challenge the authorities, the conglomerate turns a blind eye. And for almost two decades, the status quo has held. But times are about to change. On the ground, now! Hey, I'm scared. I'll win for you, Dogen. But no one can't know. You owe me a lot of script, Faith. I expect you to deliver on your promise. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Mirror's Edge Catalyst, the closed beta, twinned with One Million Merits from the Black Mirror series. Obviously, we have got limited content to actually show you from the closed beta here. This is kind of like a combination of bits and pieces I really enjoyed, including this opening scene that kind of gave a bit of a tutorial and an opening basis on the story of the game. And of course, Faith, our faithful free runner, is doing a little bit of calcex to warm herself up before we start kicking some ass. But yeah, doesn't this futuristic world look damn creepy? Let's just enjoy it until we get ourselves back outside. Last day, huh? And you constantly well, strive for I thought we'd balance. keep you here forever, Leech. Work is rewarded. Or maybe you'd like another three months. Laziness punishes. <laughs> it would be so easy. Personal freedom comes at a Come price. Come on, let's go. We've got a full day ahead. Our great society expects every employee to contribute to the corporation of their choice. Has served a 12 month sentence to which nine months were added for several incidents of insubordination. Deems ready for conditional release. Now, if it was up to me. Upon release, you must seek immediate employment and will be monitored through your grid link. If you do not find employment within 14 days, you'll be relocated to a Greenland facility. Do you understand these conditions? Just get me out of here. Work hard and you will be rewarded. Dressing rooms to the left, Leech. Ooh, I have to admit, I actually do like a uh, fierce look here compared to her actual normal gear or the Dogen black and white. Sends his best. Enjoy your freedom. I will, dear. I will indeed. Now get your fucking hands off of me. So Kruger Sec obviously are one of the great villains of this, and we're going to get introduced to the head of the company right now in a second. Just we're going to be listening to him as he just rattles on at us. Ugh. At least we're actually in the first person perspective. So... What do you guys think, even of the basic look from the POV of Faith? Alright, you fuck off, dude. I don't want to listen to you. But, the city looks good. I'm liking the griminess of it compared to what we used to have for Mirror's Edge, which was a much more spick and span and shining city, which was, of course, hiding its nasty underside on to everybody. But, seeing it in this bit, it does look like a, a bit more of a Blade Runner-esque kind of a grime spot than anything else even with it even with its machine and cleanliness it still looks like of course it had to have been built on something so i'm gonna go this way let's Ooh. get out of here where are we going oh can i slide underneath here nope ah all right well just like mirror's edge everything is through a red door or a red platform i'm icarus noah sent me you could be anyone well you'll just have to trust me here, take this. I want to get off the streets. A bootleg? Wait, did he just give me a Jolly Rancher or a Chew It or a Frutella? Gonna have a wee taste of this. Mmm, mm, mm, it was cherry. Yeah. Oh man. Nope. 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 He just gave me the bad acid. Um. Well. Okay. Bad UI. Too many things going on. Come on. Hey. Your meta seat. This is a worse. This is a UI that's worse than like an MMO. What words on the wall? What perform better? Oh Jesus! Uh, mirrors, things on roofs. 
Please, please make it stop. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to cut your grid link. It's causing the interference. Is this what the employees see all the time? Yeah, I guess you're not reformed enough to enjoy Oh, well, if that's what everybody else is normally seeing, I will not be putting any of that kind of acid into my system. Is there like nanotech acid that goes in and just corrupts your eyeball and lets you see advertisements all day? Do not like. Do not like at all. Let's get ourselves on the road here. So, of course, the mechanics are pretty much the same as the previous Mirror's Edge. Run, jump, climb, and follow the commands, at least in this tutorial bit, anyway. It becomes so much more intuitive once you've kind of, like, gathered up your, um... Well, gathered your momentum and actually learned how to do these skills. I imagine it's one of those games like, um... Like the first one, where once you put the controller down, you're going to find it a lot more difficult to kind of get back into the flow of things until you've actually like done a couple of tutorial missions or whatever. But this is a big, nice open space. I mean, I'm loving the steam vents, the wet rain, the bit of the broken down stuff, a grime on the walls. This is actually a much more living city, ow, than the original game, Mirror's Edge. So I'm getting into this, yeah. First baddie of the day, bring it on. You can take your Halo shock stick and I'm gonna shove it right up your ass. Submit. <laughs> nah. Ow for you. Ooh, bit of a shoulder rinse there. Boom, through the doors and that's rock and roll. So continuing on the run, it feels so, it feels so much faster to me now than the original Mirror's Edge did. Um. The eyeline distortion for movement, the blur to it, uh, the the pace of the footsteps, everything feels that little bit more comfortable that I previously had issues with whenever I was playing Mirror's Edge. It it, it always frustrated me just to um just kind of the the feel of view and everything kind of felt a little bit off, but this is feeling so much better. In fact, do you know what it reminds me of a lot more? Remember me, that game by Capcom? Uh, was, well, published by Capcom, but it was actually... I um, can't remember what was the name of the company that did that. Don't nod. The same ones that did uh, Life is Strange. But the the city kind of feels that like a little bit grimier like the one from Remember Me. More so than it does the original uh, Mirror's Edge. So here we are checking out a little bit more uh, content. This is actually a little bit further on from the tutorial bits where you actually run into your first kind of badass bad guy. Uh, the ones that you're obviously gonna, I'd probably spend more time avoiding rather than kicking ass because boom, <laughs> he nails you in one kick. Yeah, oh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of these guys later on in the game. Even in all the content within the closed beta, I didn't run into these hand-to-hand -hand combatants quite so much as any of the other uh, armed guards that I saw within the game. I wouldn't want to run into those guys again, but I'm hoping it'll get to that same point that I did whenever I was playing Enter the Matrix, where you kind of get so good at the game that you see that first agent, you start beating his ass <laughs> as soon as you see him, instead of actually having to run away for the first half of the game. I mean, well, this is run away the game, so I suppose I shouldn't really be too upset about it. Just need to find an alternate route and work my way around. So climbity climbity climb. Ooh. Yeah, that was close. So the uh, closeness of calls whenever you're falling and sliding, it, it's it's visceral. It feels so. Um, you feel that tension in your gut because the motion feels quite real. Um, a lot of the grabs and stuff, actually, you don't keep your eye line. Your character will actually look away as she's just grabbing hold on something to just try and keep herself alive. The falling off the cliff sides and going to the wrong places and jumping off and dying. Oh, man. Uh, um, except for the fact that it takes so long to get, like, take back your save and start again. It is a horrible, gut-wrenching feeling whenever you see that s the speed that you come down at that ground. <laughs> it's simply terrifying. Now, Mirror's Edge Catalyst is a little bit different from its original because we have all of this city to explore. Yes!
So Noah, what's, gonna be. what's the beat? I heard some runner got out of juvie today. I heard she's eager to run. She's been gone a long time. I also heard she's sorry. Maybe she learned something while she was away. Maybe. I'm so sorry. You look older. Uh, do you screw you? <laughs> oh, nice place you got here. Yeah. Mind if I stay a while? I was hoping you would. And about that run? Go talk to Birdman. He'll put you through your paces. New guy. He's a bit uptight. Hey, Chris? Mm -hmm. oh, he's a good kid. He runs better than anyone. Than anyone? Go talk to Birdman, and we'll see. All right, I'll be here. Um, <clears throat> Dogen sent me a greeting. Yeah, we'll deal with him in time. All right, now go. Astound me. Now that all the formal introductions are out of the way, now we can actually kind of get into proper gameplay. Now that was still all tutorial content, but now we've actually like we're back in the actual runner's pad and uh, able to wander around, look at things, punch whatever object we feel like. But of course, get dressed into our traditional uh, gear for Mirror's Edge. Like this is the way everybody knows her as, where everybody's seen her, everybody's seen her on the car packaging. We're back to our black and white and with our good old free running gloves or whatever else. But what I wanted to actually show in this is the option screen. The, uh, the EXP RPGS system of spending points to pick up skills and talents and particular bits of movement, combat and gear is not exactly being expanded upon, but it's still here. Um, it's a, a lot of these are just heavily locked into key events of the game. So as much as this is actually an open world place to kind of wander around in, everything's locked behind story missions ostensibly. You know, it, it's a, the same effect that you have of that free reign of uh, wandering around, but yet you're still stuck behind lock sequences in, say, uh, Assassin's Creed. You know, you have to complete it first. But one of the things I would really be looking forward to is this little tool right here. The Spider-Man slingshot to be used, but obviously we don't have access to it yet. So instead, let's just go and beat the crap out of some stuff instead. Does that sound good to you? I think it sounds good to me. I got you covered. The hand-to-hand -hand melee combat in Mirror's Edge has taken a fair bit of a revamp using a uh, momentum system which allows you to uh, shift and dodge around your opponent. Now, while you're still running and you're actually in full momentum, you can dodge bullets, you can avoid getting hit, you can actually like take people down while running. But if you stop and get into a fight like this, you can um, you make use of the shift dodge to really move around every single attack and just rotate around your opponent to find an easy space to punch and kick them at which is really, really enjoyable. It's, it, it, it feels quite visceral, the combat. It does feel like you're really just breaking ribs with a couple of punches. Speaking of momentum, there are particular events whenever you're going through this where you have to actually use this shield that I'm talking about previously just to keep running. It means that there's um, events where you'll stop and fight or just keep on running for that best time score. But in particular events like this where you have to keep going, it will stop you if you take too long to actually get to the next point or to do the next knockdown and run on through to the next space. It feels it feels good whenever you get it right, but it can be really frustrating whenever you're actually still trying to get your grips with the control system and really work your way through. So, 
it seems this is your lucky night. Why? I found an open window for you. Easy way inside. That doesn't sound right. Is their security really that lax? Who knows? Want to abort? I'd be more comfortable going in myself anyway. What is that supposed to mean? That you have a rep is all. But go ahead. Prove it wrong. Mirror's Edge ties all of this kind of wide world exploration with a pretty solid storyline. And the set pieces in the storyline, what we could see from in the closed beta, were absolutely amazing. I, like, I'm just going to let it play through the key event in this clip just right through until the close of this. So guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching this kind of first look on uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I'd say I'm excited to play it whenever it comes out. I hope you're excited when it comes out. So I hope you guys come back to the channel, check out more videos, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. This area is different. What are they doing here? Faith, what you get is we got it here. If you can't talk, write a quick write an exit for That's good to hear, Mr. Pico. We've been... What the... There. Director Mira, activate the alarm. Deal with him. This is Director Mira. We have a code blue. Dr. Hill is dead. What? What do you mean we're locked down? What was that in his hand? Cyanide. What a waste. What's that thing? Stop her! I need an exit. Just get out any way you can. We'll take it from there. <laughs> Here. 